Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at some more historic and as voted on by my Patreon supporters, we're playing some Star of Extinction. Our deck is called Extinction Event and we're a red-white land destruction combo deck. The main piece is Star of Extinction, a 7 mana sorcery, saying destroy target land. Star of Extinction deals 20 damage to each creature and each planeswalker. So a great reset button to wipe the board. And the major combo in the deck is to combine Star of Extinction with True Fire Captain, a 4 mana 4-3 four, creature with Mentor, but uh, all we really care about is whenever True Fire Captain is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target player. So if we have a True Fire Captain in play and cast our Star of Extinction, we deal 20 damage to it and we can redirect it with the Captain to our opponent to hopefully win the game on the spot. Of course, not a very reliable combo, so it's definitely more of a janky deck, but we do have a pretty good plan B, which is just to destroy all the opponent's lands until they hopefully can keep up any interaction for the Captain plus Star of Extinction combo. And the way we can ramp out Serve Extinction and make sure we can cast it before turn 7 is thanks to Iron Crack Feet, a 4 mana sorcery, adding 7 red mana to our mana pool, and then we can only cast one more spell this turn, but uh, conveniently we can just cast a Starve Extinction, which costs 7 red mana to wipe the board. So we can potentially even cast a star on turn 3 if we go turn 2 Mindstone, turn 3 Feet into Starve Extinction. So potentially a very early board wipe, which can set back a lot of decks in the format. So let's take a look at the rest of the deck at 2 mana. We've got 2 copies of Thrill of Possibility as a nice cantripping effect to maybe discard some cards we don't need and then draw 2. Then we've got the full playset of Mindstone, since we don't mind a little bit of ramp in this deck, we've got some expensive sorceries we want to cast and Mindstone can help us and then later still be sacrificed to draw a card. And then Treasure Map is great in this deck as well, helping us cry one multiple times until we transform it into Treasure Cove. And then it can generate some treasures as well, which can not only ramp us, but also provide card advantage with the Treasure Cove. And we've got some more treasure synergies in the deck as well. Then at 3 mana we've got the full playset of a Deafening Clarion, alongside Star of Extinction. These two will uh, provide the sweepers for the deck to make sure we don't die to aggressive decks. And then... At 4 mana, of course, we've got our True Fire Captain. Won't often play this turn 4, it's more a card that we want to try and set up alongside of our Star of Extinction later in the game. But every now and then we could go turn 4 True Fire Captain, turn 5 Iron Crank Feet into Star of Extinction, and win the game right away if the opponent can't interact. And then we also have the full playset of Pirate Spillage, very similar to Thrill Possibility, but also generates 2 treasure tokens which can help us ramp, and can also draw more cards with the Treasure Cove. And then we've got our Iron Crank Feet, which can not only ramp out our Star of Extinctions, but can also ramp out Haphazard Bombardment on turn 4, which is a 6 mana enchantment. As it enters the battlefield, we choose 4 non enchantment permanents we don't control and put an aim counter on each of them. So this can even get around Hexproof since we're not targeting stuff, but we're just uh, choosing things. And then at the beginning of our end step, if 2 or more permanents we don't control have an aim counter on them, we destroy one of those permanents at random. So of course, the at random makes this card a little bit unreliable, but what we will often end up doing is just choose four of the opponent's lands, and then after a couple of turns, three of those four lands will be destroyed, so the bombardment also plays well in multiples. And then of course our Star of Extinction to combo with our True Fire Captain, and as a nice reset button. And then looking at our mana base, there's a lot of ways we could build it, we could also play Castle Ardenvale as an extra win condition, but for the most part in the late game we'll be busy drawing extra cards with Treasure Coves, so we can usually spend all our mana without needing extra mana sinks. We also have two copies of Memorial to War, which is an additional land destruction effect, 5 mana, sacrifice it to destroy target land. And then uh, lots of basics, 4 planes, 8 mountains, and then all the red white dual lands. 4 cliff top retreat comes into play untapped if we control a mountain or planes. We've got our sacred foundries, counting as mountains and planes, cost 2 life to come into play untapped. And then the full playset of Temple of Triumph, which also lets us cry one but always comes into play tapped. So it can also help us find the missing combo pieces. So yeah, that's our janky Star of Extinction True Fire Captain combo deck. Let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. All right, we're on the play with a decent hand. We've got our early Deafening Clarion, and then Feet in case we find Bombardment or Star of Extinction. Facing a Gutter Bones, all right. So this uh, Deafening Clarion should be pretty effective. Play Treasure Map, I guess. Hmm. 
And then I could put a stop on upkeep if we want to scry. But I'm probably gonna end up casting the Deafening Clarion here. Opponent seems to be on Mardu. Yeah, we'll just draw. And then we'll Clarion away the two creatures. Waiting an extra turn and having the opponent play like a Midnight Reaper would also not be amazing, so... We'll just play it safe. And then next turn we can maybe scry before drawing, or we can play Mindstone first. Murder Strider just as a 2-3 lifelink. That's not too scary. Um, I probably take my draw step first. Bombardment's not bad, so I could play that thanks to the feet. Yeah, that seems okay. And then I even have one mana left over, which I can use to scry. And then automatically places all the four counters. Don't need more lands. And now make sure to put a stop on upkeep to find more action. Take out the land, that's what we like to see. So we go down to 11. Brings back gutter bones. And they do have an extra land, but decide to play tapped. Alright, let's cry. True for captain, yeah. I mean, I don't expect it to survive, given that they were so happy to run out Murder Strider. Probably means they have another one in hand. So if I think it's just gonna die, I might as well bottom it. And try and destroy more of their lands first. But it is technically a good blocker, so I think I'll keep it... And run it out there. And there's always a chance they won't have the lands to cast another Murder Strider. Alright, third land, so don't expect True Fire Captain to survive here. And in fact we see another Rider. Forgot to put a stop on upkeep this time with the treasure map. Probably would have bottomed the memorial. If I flip the treasure map, I will have enough mana to sacrifice a memorial we currently have to take out the land, which is probably okay. So... It's bottom mountain, I guess we ended up having a better draw... ...than had we bottomed the memorial on our upkeep. And then probably want to take out the blood crypts, so that future chapels come into play tapped. And then next turn I could once again memorial them. Murder Shider down. But they still have more land. Land destruction is not great against someone who's flooded. Alright, revival to bring back the butcher and a gutter bone, so. Yeah, we'll have to find some more sweepers here soon. Bombardments will help. And we'll just spread around those counters. Gutter bones down. And chapel down, so no white mana at the moment. But there's a sacred foundry and a midnight reaper. Alright, so Thrill can maybe draw me into a Deafening Clarion. But I could also sack Treasure Cove to accomplish the same. But I guess this draws me one card deeper. If I'm willing to discard Mindstone. Yeah, I guess that's fine. There's a True Fire Captain. Could have tapped the cove in case I drew captain, so I don't have to sack treasure to play it. But I might have uh, ended up maybe sacrificing the extra treasure with cove anyway. So yeah, I guess we'll play the captain, and then it's probably going to end up needing to trade. If we kill the butcher, they get to kill my captain. So that's a little awkward. 
but they just went face instead. Maybe they have another murder Snyder. Revival brings back Butcher once again. And I'm forced to trade for the Reaper, sadly. And yeah, two life facing a Butcher. I don't think we have many outs. Can draw. Don't think there's anything we can draw to get us out of this. Pirate Spillage that I can't cast. Alright, GG's. We'll let them uh, kill us here. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. This hand is a bit light on mana, but it's got potential with Thrill and the feat to maybe ramp out a bombardment. Facing our Boreal Grazer. And Hallowed Fountain, so some sort of uh, banned ramp deck. Just want to find lands. The Fairy Time Raveler. So if I Mind Stone, it just gets bounced by the Fairy, so it's not too effective. So probably Thrill discarding Clarion, which is probably not amazing in the matchup. Samyo Collector of Tales. Alright, let's see what they're looking for. Chulain. Alright. So they've got a nice band Chulain deck, apparently. Bounces the Grazer. I guess now we can play the Mind Stone and not have it bounced. Don't foresee needing to sacrifice the Mind Stone, so don't need the mana untapped. It's going to be an Elvish Visionary. And a Fibble Thip. So lots of draw effects. And time is going to just get back a land. Ooh, Star of Extinction is not bad here. Can play that out. And blow up probably like one of the white sources. They still have a pretty full grip, but at least we're not facing two active planeswalkers anymore. Fibble flip. Yeah, Risen Reef is pretty good against our land destruction plan as well. So I'll put a counter here and then on the three lands. Cloud Concealer, extra elemental for Risen Reef. No lands, at least, so far. Uh, they do have a Hallowed Fountain and another Visionary. Uh, we'll play another Bombardment for now. And I guess I can go after the Cloudkin Seer. Risen Reef down, at least. So now we want a Deafening Clarion or another Star of Extinction. I am it is an 
honor to meet you. Samuel gets back a lance and a grazer to put it in play. Can bombardment again? Sure. Samyo, two lands, and then... Probably should have targeted the Visionary instead of Fibblethip, since this is Legendary. And uh, Bombardment choosing it doesn't count as a spell targeting in it, so it doesn't get shuffled back. Opponent looking for another Reef. I don't think they'll be bouncing my bombardments. So they're just uh, bouncing nothing to draw a card. Let's go digging. Not sure if I'm supposed to tap Mindstone, because if I find a Truefire Captain, I can play it without needing to uh, sacrifice a treasure, which is pretty important. And probably hold this in case of another looting effect. Alright, blue mana down. So we're doing a decent job of killing their lands despite them getting a few back. Make sure to put a stop on upkeep for the treasure map. And time is just going to get back a land here. The past is never forgotten. Don't need lands. Not a treasure map's not bad. So we'll scry before we draw with Mindstone, presumably. Another map. Alright, so all the maps, so we'll start drawing a lot of cards soon here. And we get to take out Fibblethip here. Alright. No, I am not making this up as I go. Take one. Clarion, just for a visionary, doesn't seem necessary. Let's dream bigger. Yeah, still not uh, gonna keep it on top, I think. So next turn is when uh, we can start drawing our first cards with the Cove, hopefully find another Star of Extinction, or the combination of Star and uh, Truefire Captain. Trust me, I have a plan. Finally they get to play Chulain. Hopefully it won't stay in play for long. Don't need feats, got plenty of mana. Alright, just the temple. I guess we'll play that before drawing with the cove. Alright, just another feat, so we're taking three down to one here. Yeah. 
Next turn I get to draw multiple cards with the coves. And we gotta assemble the combo. I mean, we've scried a lot of cards to the bottom here, so... We should still have multiple captains and stars waiting for us uh, on top of our deck. Might be a bad idea. And hopefully no counter spells. Although they don't seem like a deck with a lot of counter spells in it. Risen Reef. All right. So they're kind of going off now with Chulain. Can we find the combo? I guess I'll take my draw step. There's a star. All right. Now we just need a captain. Two more draw steps. Another feat. Mindstone for the redraw. Clarion. Alright, I guess we'll just cast uh, Star of Extinction then, since Clarion doesn't keep us alive. And take out. Don't think it matters too much at this point. And then next turn we can hope to draw another star and another captain. Although, how many stars do we have left? I guess still two. Chulain and Fail Wishes, just as a 1-4. Yeah, those don't die to Clarion. Thrill. We'll draw first with Cove. Pillage, so more looting effects. Alright, there's Captain, so now we need one of the two stars that are left. Not guaranteed to draw it here. So let's see, what do we lead with? Probably Pillage. I mean, Pillage and Thrill are kind of the same amount of mana here. Don't need both feet, so can definitely discard one. And then Thrill discarding Memorial. I guess Sacred Fan at this point is probably just worse. Yeah, I guess we've got one more draw with the uh, Cove here. I could scry first with the map, but then I might not have enough mana to do everything I want. Three for playing map and scrying. Two more for Cove. I guess I'll still have enough. So let's scry first. Bottom of retreats. Draw. Another captain, it's not what we needed. So, yeah, I guess now we bombardment and hope to kill a bunch of their creatures. Or captain can block one of them, but the fave wish still kills me, so probably gotta play bombardments. Fade down. Breeding pool. Oof, Chulain down, so we get to sweat for an extra turn here. Well, this game has been pretty intense. So we've got two starts left in somewhere around 10 cards.
the ferry could bounce the map, so we can't scry on upkeep. So we'll draw. Alright, let's uh, play map first. Not our captain, all the captains. Bottom that, and then we'll draw. Although at this point we're not that too visionary, since we can play a couple captains as blockers or cast a clarion. There we go. Alright, time for the wombo combo. Captain into feet. And a nice star of extinction. Probably had enough mana to cast both captains for uh, 40 damage, but uh, gotta play around spell pierce, I guess. Alright, sweet. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. This hand seems okay. We will be able to feed on turn 4 to get a bombardment or a star of extinction out there. Just need to draw one untapped land, I guess. Um, facing Sacred Foundry might be a control deck. In which case, I mean, there's no card that's awful against control, since Star still gets Planeswalkers. So I don't think I need another um, looting effect here. Already have the Pillage. Alright, Inspiring Veterans, so Boros Knights. So this Star of Extinction should be pretty effective. I wouldn't say no to a Deafening Clarion, though. Hisra Benalia. Yeah, I'm probably okay just casting the Clarion now, even though they'll get another Knight. Just want to limit how much damage we take. Marshal and Bodyguard. Sadly, Bodyguard will uh, save the Marshal here. Another Star of Extinction. Yeah, I guess we'll cast uh, Star of Extinction here. Could also go for Bombardment, but then we might end up taking a, a little bit too much from this history. Take out a Sacred Foundry. This definitely feels like a matchup where they probably don't have much interaction, so if we did have a turn 4 Captain and turn 5 Star, we could win that way. So go Mindstone into... A Pirate Spillage here, discarding Bombardment, keeping Star. Alright, so hopefully no more Bodyguards, and the next Star can uh, wipe their entire board for good. Not a Marshal instead, alright. And a Champion. So we're not dead, and my opponent's going to be on empty. But we are at one, so another Fervent Champion over the top is uh, not what we want to see. So let's see, five, six, I guess we'll play Mountain, and then maybe discard Sacred Foundry to the Pillage next turn. I guess we do get to take out our only red source. So... They'll have to draw another one before they can play another champion of the top. Worthy knights. Uh-oh. There's our true fire captain. I guess we'll pillage, discarding Sacred Foundry, play captain. Hope to draw another Star of Extinction.
Might sacrifice the Mind Stone next turn for an extra draw step. Pillage keeps it exciting. Should still be able to cast a star if we uh, draw it here, thanks to the feat. Alright, we can keep digging with Thrill. Although if I Thrill discarding Mind Stone, I will be able to go for the star. But generally speaking, at this point, feat is not super important. So I might be better off uh, discarding the feat to the Thrill. But then if they do draw a haste creature, we would be dead, whereas now I'm giving myself the chance, if I thrill discarding Mindstone, to just win on the spot. I think I'm gonna be okay giving them a draw step towards another haste creature and just thrill discarding feet to give ourselves the most amount of draw steps to try and find the Star of Extinction, but wow, opponent just uh, packs it in. On to the next one. All right, we're on the draw. Yeah, this seems okay. I've got Mind Stone to maybe play turn three, Pirate's Pillage. And look for our missing pieces. Facing, is it Guild Gate? So presumably a Gates deck. Or maybe just uh, a budget mana fixer. Although typically want to play the gain lands over the guild gates, unless you've got a reason to play the gates. Let's pillage, probably okay discarding a land here. Don't foresee this clarion being great, so can easily get rid of it. Probably want to save my treasures. Ooh, gilded lotus sitter. Definitely going big here with their ramp. A relic too, alright. I'm intrigued. There's a star, so now we just need our captain and we're good. So probably pillage discarding clarion. There's our captain, alright. So we could combo next turn. Can play captain next turn into feats into star. Although they might get the city's blessing and be able to gain life from the Saraska relic if they sacrifice it. So that's a little awkward here. Can only deal 20, but they can go up to 23. I guess I can play captain and just attack with it a few times. Opponent's down to one card, so they don't seem to have much in the way of interaction. Finale for 10. Okay. It's a pretty good uh, card to have here. Untaps 5 lands, but now that the relics are tapped. Although Key can, I guess, untap it. Can untap the Lotus, another relic. And Gleaming Barrier. So they have exactly enough here to untap a relic with key and then sacrifice it to gain three. So what do I need to find here? Some way of getting rid of uh, this barrier, I guess, would help. Another star. I guess I can attack and hope they take it. Opponent jumps. If I find another captain, then I guess we can still do it. Treasure map instead. Probably fine to run that out. Although, they might be some sort of combo deck that just kills me next turn. 
So we might not get another turn here. Another key. Represents a bunch of extra mana with a Lotus. The River's Rebuke. Yeah, it's pretty effective with all my treasure tokens here. Three, six, seven. So might not have enough mana to pull off the combo next turn. I think I'll be one mana short of playing Captain and then feeds into Star. But of course they still have those relics to gain life. If those relics were any other three mana artifacts, uh, we could have potentially pulled it off. Insights draw seven. More mana with Power Stone Shard. Manifold Key. Opponent passes. Another Captain, so... Guess we can maybe play two next turn. And a Banefire for 24, yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, that's uh, too bad, we were super close to killing them, but uh, 20 damage, not quite enough with the Relic in play. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. Hands a little on the slow side with all these tap lands, but we do have the feet to maybe speed it up a little bit, so we'll try it. I don't think I need to keep Thrill. Turn to Paradise Druids. Usually don't mind seeing mana creatures when we're playing uh, Star of Extinction. I'll keep a Mountain, so we're looking at a turn 4 Captain, turn 5 Star of Extinction maybe. Opponent seems to be stuck on 3. What are the odds that this uh, captain survives? Pretty low. So I could play it slow and get these bombardments in play first. And then try and go for it. Could have also cast a feat to play the bombardment right there. Alright, Cavalier of Thorns finds a bunch of other Cavaliers, so... Now that we've seen more of their deck, we've got a bit of a better idea what they're working with. And maybe it's okay to run out Captain, hoping they don't kill it. Agent of Treachery. Alright, steals my land, perfect. Was worried they were going to steal my captain for a second. Who needs lands when you've got an iron crank feat? And my opponent scoops it up. Couldn't even wait for the animation. Alright, sweet. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. This hand has most of the pieces, just missing the Star of Extinction. So we'll try it. There's our Star of Extinction. Alright, voice recognition is on point. Turn 1 Stitcher Supplier. 
So blue-black reanimator deck from the looks of it. All right, let's uh, play this one tapped. Turn to Thought Racer is the last thing we wanted to see, as now they know about the combo. And they can take away the feet, which uh, slows us down quite a bit too. Stonebound Lich. So probably going to pillage discarding star at this point. Or I can play captain in the hopes of uh, just stop decking a feat next turn for the win. If they agent of treachery my true fire captain with uh, blood for bones then this uh, star of extinction will kill me. So that's not great. Maybe play it slow. And then try and play captain and start in the same turn with maybe a, a feat. Not a lich. I mean, just hard casting a star of extinction is not bad at this point, but I think we want to set up the wombo combo. So, might be able to get there next turn. If we can dodge another thought erasure. Double captain, so we've got a bit of insurance. Put on discards a thought ratio, interesting. Bond of revival back agents, that should be fine. I guess my opponent's at 21 in the meantime, so 20 damage actually doesn't kill them. Which is uh, a little unfortunate. So I probably will be forced to play two of them, hoping they can't reanimate another agent. Although there's no agents in the graveyard, so that's good. And do we just play a double captain here? I think we do. Although that's gonna cost me every single treasure except for one. Which I guess five, six, seven still works out. So I'll play double captain. Hope to dodge a thought erasure and then next turn star of extinction. Could be lethal. They could also hard cast agent if they have lands. All right, then another thought erasure. Takes a star. So only have two stars left at this point. So not super likely to draw one. Lich attacks. Guess we'll take it. Clarion. Not quite what I need here. I think we'll go after their lands. Tarn Scorn bounces captain. Sure. So the attack with agent kind of implies they have a way of reanimating it. They don't have another agent to reanimate, so they would be getting back like a massacre girl. So probably gotta take it here. Take four, opponent gains two. 
Next turn, replay Captain. Hope to draw a uh, star afterwards, or I can just Clarion, but then they will be able to reanimate Agent. They discard a double Agent, so I guess they can reanimate here anyway. But then I can cast Clarion, which deals three to me from Captain. Agent steals bombardments. Interesting. Doesn't it now just uh, trigger on their end step? Or maybe it's worded in such a way that it doesn't kill their lands anymore? At the beginning of your end step, if two or more permanents you don't control have an aim counter on them. So yeah, I guess now it no longer destroys their lands. Let's see what's on top first before we decide. Mountain. So I could attack and cast a clarion right now, which would get rid of the agents. But that doesn't necessarily win me the game with the second captain if we draw a star. But maybe that's not how we win this game and we just try and win a game where we destroy their lands. In which case I'm okay casting Clarion here. Put on double blocks. It's fine. And then I can replay Captain right now, which is probably worth it. So I'm still alive to top deck a uh, Star of Extinction and kill them if they don't have a blocker. Eh, just uh, attack for four. They could take up the blast zone, up to three counters, not quite enough to kill Captain. Iron Crack feet doesn't do it, so I guess they will be able to blast zone away the Captain now. Agent steals Captain. Opponent draws three since they've stolen three of our permanents. Alright, this is where we need to find something like treasure map to kind of pull ahead. Opponent has 21 cards remaining, so they're not super close to decking. Not our captain, we'll keep that one in hand, I think, at this point. Or do we? Opponent has four agents in the graveyards. If they had a way to reanimate it, they probably would have, just to steal a land and start drawing cards. So maybe they don't have any answers here for the captain, and it can just start attacking for four. I guess they might have more murder riders, but they will be able to keep a murder rider no matter what. Yeah, got one captain left. So maybe we do just try and deck them. Not sure here. Black Castle not too powerful when they have this many cards in hand. Put 
Bones is gonna play the Murder Strider now. Blood for Bones, sacrificing it, getting back. Agents. Gets back Lich, steals a Sacred Foundry, which we will tap. Alright, if we draw Star of Extinction right now, we win the game. Can go through our Captain into Feet, into Star. It's probably our best window now. Oh, wow. And we'll blow up our own Sacred Foundry. All right, that was an intense game. So yeah, the uh, the combo, it's not super reliable. It's definitely something more for fun than something competitive, but uh, pretty satisfying whenever you can pull it off. So yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. Wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also wanna thank all my patrons for being part of the channel and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.